So I am, uh, excuse me, let me introduce myself. My name is Evan Crane, and I'm the president of the Cook Leadership Academy. You know, I have, I have a question. I was wondering if you guys could help me figure it out. I felt something different in the air, particularly yesterday morning outside, you know? Um, maybe hearing a little bit of birds. Can, can you help me? What's happening? What does it feel like? Cold. Cold. Yesterday morning on the sun, can you, can you sense it? Spring? Spring's just around the corner? <laughs> No, you're not seeing it? Oh, okay. Well, it is a really exciting time for the Cook Leadership Academy this year. Uh, can you believe another academic year has almost already gone by, and it's already time for um, nominations, applications, and interview for next year's class of Cook Leadership Academy Fellows. So I want to um, pre raise a question on your mind. Uh, who are you going to nominate for next year's class of fellows? And to help prep uh, your thoughts and you know, who, who around me has uh, you know, really great leadership potential, I'm going to outline who it is we are at the Cook Leadership Academy and the Helen Science Center, and then share some amazing stories of what fellows and mentors are doing. And uh, to help me, because there's just too many stories, I brought along my iPad, so I'm going to you know, start out slow and build up some momentum and, and just share these amazing stories. So I have, to, I have to start at the foundation. I have to start at our namesake of the Hauenstein Center, Ralph Hauenstein. So Ralph Hauenstein, he is a, a journalist, a soldier, a businessman, a manufacturer, and today he's a philanthropist. He just dropped a million dollars for the endowment of the Cook Leadership Academy and the Hauenstein Center. And that, that's just amazing. I'm so looking just so forward to the Hauenstein And of course, today he's also a centenarian, which is, that's cool. Um, so he charged the Hauenstein Center and the Cook Leadership Academy to build the next generation of ethical and effective servant leaders. And I think we're doing a great job of that. So what the Cook Leadership Academy is, is it's a selective, comprehensive uh, leadership development program. There's, there's four main components, and I think, I think we're excited to say that there's another, one, another component that's becoming part of our core uh, coming on soon. So of course we have the Wheelhouse Talks, which is a really a lecture-based learning environment for leadership, right? And the Wheelhouse Talks provides a platform for Guru, which is our mentorships. And Guru is also present in Leader Lens and Muse. Leader Lens is an opportunity for fellows to share their leadership experiences along a common theme. And then Muse is more introspective. We discuss our um, strengths and our abilities and passions uh, and learn about leadership in that way. And here, here's where the momentum gets to start up. Um, we have a new component coming on, experiential learning, actually going out and leading in the world. So we are sending six fellows to India for six weeks this summer. We're sending eight to 11 fellows to Utah for two weeks for experiential learning. So let's, let's dig a little bit deeper. So we have fellows and mentors representing nonprofit sectors, private sectors, government, academia, uh, our fellows are split generically between undergraduate and graduate programs. Some of the titles of our mentors, we have Dean, Director, Executive Director, Partner, Manager, Managing Partner, Vice President, President, COO, CEO, Owner, Professor, Board Member, Chair. Many of our fellows hold similar titles, there's just a few less dollar figures involved. <laughs> Fellows hail from Michigan, New Jersey, Texas, Nicaragua, Kazakhstan, Libya, Kenya, Malaysia, China, and South Korea. Fellows have set GBSU athletic records, traveled the world, been face-to-face -face with four U.S. presidents, two vice presidents, four first ladies, four secretaries of state, six governors, multiple Pulitzer Prize winners, a Grammy Award winner, the world's most decorated academic, a national basketball championship coach, and numerous top-level executives. Fellows have interned abroad. They've interned with the U.S. House, U.S. Senate, big companies, city governments, nonprofits like AmeriCorps, presented at national conferences. Fellows have gone on to prestigious think tanks, in which we just heard one of these fellows uh, just testify before the Michigan State Senate. Um, they've gone on to intensive training and rotation programs at companies like Steelcase, Dow Chemical, and Target. Among our fellows is the editor in chief of the Lanthorn and secretary general of the Michigan Model Arab League. And I could go on and on and on. There's so many great stories. Look to your left, look to your right. I mean, this is, this is happening right around you. So I want to impress on you, who are you going to nominate for the Cook Leadership Academy next year? Who do you think has great 
potential, has some gift to do something great in this world that you think that the Cook Leadership Academy can help refine and help them spur them towards bigger and greater things. So applications uh, close March 14th, but you have the opportunity to nominate those. That closes March 10th. So I encourage you to get out there. And you know, after after hearing all those amazing things that fellows are doing, I'm ready to hear about a young entrepreneur who's doing great things in her community right now. So I'm going to pass the mic over to Jen Ozar, our vice president, to introduce our speaker. Hi, and welcome. I'm excited to introduce today's Wheelhouse Talk speaker, Kelly LaCoy. A Calvin College graduate in 2011, Kelly is transforming our community with an innovative class assignment turned award-winning project turned successful business. By winning grant funding through Calvin College's Biz Plan Competition, the West Michigan Regional Business Plan Competition, and Five by Five Night, she was able to open up Uptown Kitchen which is a kitchen incubator space for small food-based businesses. Due to her commitment to fostering community here in Grand Rapids, Kelly was awarded Young Entrepreneur of the Year in May 2013. She's a testament that being able to execute your passions has no age. Please help me welcome Kelly LaCoy. <laughs> 